Previously on Free Fire. Some people are simply born with extraordinary abilities. For Moko, that came in the form of her hacking. After intervening in a dire situation, Moko now found herself on Horizon's bad side. As she was carted off to prison, she remembered a time long past. Long ago, in Moko's childhood, she was surrounded by friends. They played together, talked of magic, and enjoyed the fairy tale time of childhood's joys. One day, as Andy and Moko were discussing the tale of Rapunzel, the third part of their trio joined them by climbing through the window with a counterpoint to their argument at the ready. This was Leo, a daring young boy with golden hair and a very pragmatic mindset. He was quick on his feet and quick-witted too. And even then, he knew in his mind that life was no fairy tale. He believed that science ruled over all. End of story. Andy never quite agreed with him. For him, after all, magic was just but one aspect of science. The two continued to playfully argue it out, until Leo noted that maybe they should let Moko finish her homework. <gasps> Moko's exclamation of being finished with her tasks surprised even Leo. It had been quite the daunting assignment, and Moko had finished it like it was a piece of cake. Her coding skills were impressive to anyone who saw them, even back then. They were like magic, the kids thought. Lovingly, the pair started calling Moko their little witch due to her unnatural ability with code. This endearing term stayed with Moko for a long time after. Witches and fairy tales aren't always bad, she thought. Sometimes they brought magic and happiness to the fairy tale. She always thought that would be her role. Still, things never quite worked out for Moko. At a very young age, Moko had once managed to hack the entire electrical grid, causing an outage in the city and setting Horizon on her trail. Despite her mother's arguments, Horizon knew very well what Moko was capable of. Instead of seeking punishment for her, they instead sought to enlist her on a prodigy assessment program. Horizon touted it as the opportunity of a lifetime. Her mother knew the truth wasn't quite so simple. Still, young as she was, Moko thought that this could be a good thing, right? Maybe this was her chance to make her mom proud. Grasping her teddy, she smiled at her mother. For so long, she wanted to be Moko, the magical little witch who made everyone happier. But that was all just a pipe dream. Her mother did not see things that way. Instead, she saw it as her life being ruined. Overtaken by rage, she made the grave mistake of blaming the wrong person, Moko. After that, the relationship between the two was never the same. Her mother stopped showing any emotion around her and grew distraught and distant. Under the stress of this new situation, Moko understandably found herself having trouble adapting to it. Slowly but surely, their relationship became irreparably fractured. When Moko turned 16, she made it into college with a full-ride scholarship from Horizon. On her way to college, to her new life, Moko pondered on the question she had always held onto, but never built up the courage to ask. She meant to ask it then, but her mother never showed up to say goodbye. At that moment, Moko realized that in her haste to move out of the nest, she had left her precious teddy behind. But the bus was on the move, and there was no stopping now. Moko reluctantly continued towards her new life. It wasn't until much later that Moko returned home, but it was already too late by then. Her house lay in ruins, all memories of her childhood erased. Her mother had unfortunately passed away during this time. Before Moko could do anything, Horizon swept her mother's data and seized her belongings as well. After all this time, the burning question still lingered on Moko's mind. As she wrestled with her mind in her cell, Moko heard approaching footsteps. She wanted to get out, but most importantly, she wanted to know what on earth happened to Angela. The guard mentioned nothing about Angela, but begrudgingly told her that her bail had been posted. 
she was free to go. From the shadows emerged the one responsible for her freedom, the one and only Andy.